synergy. Like when 2 plus 2 equals 5, the result is greater combining these two things than you would expect. Here's an example. If I take Valium and have a shot of vodka, what happens? My breathing rate and heart rate drop. This is because the Valium and the vodka are working together and actually magnifying the effect of each other to cause a much more severe result. My research is looking for the Valium and vodka equivalent to give to the tuberculosis bacteria. That's the bacteria that causes the disease tuberculosis. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, the tuberculosis bacteria is naturally quite resistant to antibiotics, <coughs> and this means it's difficult to treat. If any of us in this room came down with active tuberculosis, we would go and get a prescription for antibiotics. And we would be on antibiotics for six months. And in six months, you would have to take approximately 500 pills. Now, this seems a little unmanageable. And this is Canada, where we have a very well-developed healthcare system. So maybe, using the concept of synergy, we can be smarter about how we combine drugs. So we aren't taking antibiotics for six months and not 500 pills. So in my research, I was combining drugs. And I was looking for a pair of drugs that would give me this profile, 2 plus 2 equals 5. And I found one really interesting combination. And in this combination, one of the drugs is a current anti-tuberculosis drug. And the other drug is an anti-worm drug that you take for having a worm infection. And this anti-worm drug is really exciting because it has never been described to work against any bacteria. But I have found that it does work against the tuberculosis bacteria. So it's very specific. It's also very safe. This anti-worm drug is considered a bit of a wonder drug because it is very potent against worms, but is not effective against human cells. There are virtually no side effects to taking this drug. In fact, it's so safe and so effective that Merck, the pharmaceutical company, has been mass manufacturing it and donating it in a giveaway program for a number of years to Africa and South America. These countries also have high incidence of tuberculosis. So my research now is trying to figure out how does this anti-worm drug work against tuberculosis? And ultimately, whether this combination may be a new synergistic treatment for tuberculosis. Thank you.